Hey, what's going on guys? I wanna talk about Facebook ad bid strategies, okay? I got a question about this on my Instagram poll that I did a couple days ago, and this is a really good question because not a lot of people actually know about bidding strategies on Facebook ads. Most people just talk about budgeting and nothing really else. And this is a really extensive video, so I really wanna go into this into very much detail, okay? Um, first things first is when you first start off with a new ad account with a new pixel, you only want to be running interest because you don't have any data yet. So you don't have any lookalike audiences. You only have much custom audiences. There's not really enough data for you to go off of yet to really be able to scale into those, you know, really warmer audiences. Okay. Second thing is whenever I look at, you know, what I'm going to be bidding or what my budgeting is for each ad set, or if I'm using CBO, I'm always thinking about what the cost of the product is because at first, if your product's 20 bucks, I would be running, you know, ad sets at like $12 and 50 cents because I want to, I want Facebook to think that you want one conversion a day based on what you're willing to spend a day. So when I first get a new client, I'll set up, you know, 10 to 15 ad sets, you know, at $15 each, $12.50 each. And I'll basically see based on that product's price point, you know, if the product's 50 bucks, then I'm setting up, you know, $25, $30 ad sets. So I'll usually set up like 10 to 15. Each ad set has its own interest and I'll let that rock. And then as it goes, you know, every couple of days I'm cutting interests, you know, seeing which ones are working. You know, if, if that 20, if that $15, that $25 is working, you know, after three days, I'll up it to, you know, 35 and then, you know, if it's at 12.50 and it's doing well, I'll take it to 20. And that's basically how I'm looking at my data as far as bidding. Um, once you get into like deeper lookalikes and you start scaling, that's where you can use bid caps and cost caps. Okay, so bid caps, when I use a bid cap, I'm basically telling Facebook, hey, you know what? I don't want you to spend more than this amount for conversion because now I have enough data. Now I have lookalikes. Now I have, you know, enough data to where Facebook kind of knows what I'm looking for. Um, and yes, they do spend money very slowly, but they're optimizing over time, okay? It, it, it really does take time for you to get the most out of your big caps or your cost caps. So, you know, if you're used to paying, you know, $16 for a customer, my bid cap, I would put the bid control on like $17.50 so that, you know, Facebook knows that you're used to paying this amount, but you're willing to add an extra dollar on so that the money will spend a little bit faster. And if it still doesn't spend money, then I'll raise it a dollar. Sometimes when you put bid caps and cost caps on, the money does not spend at all. And it's a weird thing, but sometimes Facebook gets like stuck because they don't know what to do. So you have to fuel it. So you just have to add like a dollar or two to the bid control publish the new, you know, ad sets or the changes and then see what happens then and see if Facebook's able to actually spend your money with the updated cost cap and bid cap. Um, and whenever I start a bid cap or a cost cap, I'll put it to like $500 daily just because I know Facebook's going to optimize that and it won't spend $500 daily right off the rip. Most of them take days, sometimes even a week to even get close to spending that kind of amount of money because it needs to optimize, needs to get data, needs to get out of the learning phase. So those are some of my bidding strategies. Um, as far as raising budgets, it's more about like what's actually working in a three day window. Okay. Most people will look at things on lifetime and that's cool and all, but some ad sets and some audiences can die out like randomly and you have to watch your spend. So every three days, I'll basically go in my filter and do a three day window timeline and I'll see like, hey, this ad set's doing well still, this ad set's not doing that well. So let's turn that off and let the money go to the one that's consistently outperforming every other one. And that's how I'm able to stretch my profit margins, increase my ROAS, and more so keep cash flow coming in without having to reset ad sets, duplicating ad sets, and like starting from zero over and over and over again. I'm fueling what works so that even if I cut ad sets and cut spend, it's not gonna matter because then the budget gets fueled to the ones that are currently working. So even if you're getting lower sales for a couple of days while you're trying to, you know, get new creatives made or trying to scale out new ad sets, you still have more profits coming in and the cash flow is what matters in the beginning because you don't want to lose all this money testing. You want to be able to retain more. So those are some of the bidding strategies that I use. Um, it's more so about 
what works for your business, what your costs are, what you're currently spending for a customer and how you can optimize on that. So thank you for that question. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.